and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you with another free presentation witnessing the world the world as I see it and I worked for 32 years for those people that don't know me in an industry offering a service I was a, a motor vehicle technician a car mechanic who became an AA patrolman and the AA's logo was courtesy and care which is something that you see very little of as I walk around and witness possibly you are on the receiving end of indifference <laughs> and maybe superficial politically correct manners which don't feel sincere I said before but if you haven't seen me before I'll say it to you now that imagine that everybody that you see everybody that you meet imagine that they've got a sign around their neck that says make me feel important imagine they've got a t-shirt that says make me feel important if you're in business and you make all your customers or your potential clients any potential contract the people that you interact with people that you communicate to communicate with if you make them feel important make them feel valued and significant if you're polite beyond political correctness not just a script actually sincerely love what you're doing and sell that love your business will expand massively that's one of the reasons that I believe that I've been lucky to be this successful that over the years I've loved the jobs and I've cared about the people that I've offered my products and services to care means that you share it doesn't mean rip off it doesn't mean sell to it means offer sincere best advice best service that you go not that extra mile but that extra 50 miles that nothing's too much trouble and you enjoy doing it you don't make people feel guilty because you've done it you don't do it for reward but trust me you will be rewarded it's the iron law of the universe which is sowing and reaping cause and effect and if you're a positive cause the effects will come back to you the world the universe is a mirror and if you care about other people they'll care about you they'll look after you if you look after them and yet it's so rare you go into a store for a product or a service you phone a helpline which are quite often quite unhelpful it's not the the individual's fault it's that they are micromanaged to answer your problem in x amount of seconds can't be done you want to have a personal conversation and they've not got time and quite often you've not got time so you just come out like a solicitor with the facts bullet points it's not a conversation there's no communion no fellowship in the interaction it's just facts and then they come back with facts and you're often very very dissatisfied there's no care in that and there's no courtesy in that I would stop doing that I would slow down smile before you dial get on the phone and you're a person don't talk about the product don't allow people to refer to you by the reference number of your complaint or the reference number of your purchase give your name ask them their name ask them how their day's going care about them share your love share and care and be courteous all the time because that's the society that's the world that's the everyday living environment that you want to experience and the world's a mirror if it starts with you it'll come back to you as i say sowing and reaping cause and effect if you're a positive cause if you sow love and kindness you'll reap love and kindness if you give nothing you'll get nothing if you give love you'll experience love and you know that's not a wishy-washy thing it's a real solid thing where people will get you they'll feel the difference being with you because you vibrate in a positive loving way a constructive way now that doesn't mean that you don't get things done you'll find that you'll get far more done you'll be far busier because people will love interacting with you they'll trust you 
They'll feel that you care and that you're polite towards them. Not just superficially, politically correct polite. You'll radiate the true you, not the superficial you, not the false you, not the ego you, but the loving heart and mind of you. They'll get you. So as you go around your day, today, tomorrow, and for many days, weeks, and months, and years ahead, just witness who's not doing that. And you can make a difference. You can show them how to do it by doing it. You can, in a queue, talk, share, care, be constructive, maintain eye contact, get off your mobile phone, don't look down, look up, eye contact, smile, talk in a positive way, and maybe ask somebody how they are. How are you? Are you okay? Can I help you? Now, you're there to be helped, but as a member of the public, you can help other people that are seeking help. You can ask people just simply, you know, are you okay today? You might be the only person that that member of the public has spoken to. You don't know their personal circumstances. You've got to imagine that they're wearing a sign on their t-shirt that says, make me feel important, but they're not going to be wearing a sign that says, I am bereaved, I am depressed, I am in financial debt, I am homeless, I am stressed, I am concerned about this, worried about that, frightened about the other. That's up to you to maybe find out. Not in an intrusive and nosy way, but in a loving, courteous and caring way. The AA's motto that I worked for was courtesy and care. And apart from fixing cars when I could and towing them away when I couldn't fix them, those people had the Mike Gardner experience. I got loads of commendations. I might not have been the best mechanic as I did my job. When I got into the trade, uh, into the A in 1977, I was highly qualified from Ford Motor Company in Stockport. But over the years, you lose touch with modern technology. The new lads coming in were very technically um, able but i know that the way that i spoke to people my manner my love for the job and my passion made people enjoy the mike garner experience and i got lots of commendations and when you go to get a service or buy a product you want to have a nice experience and people will forgive technical mistakes or forgive maybe price differences, if they're having a good experience with you. So if you're in business, you know, it really makes sense not to compete on price, but to compete on service, on love, on passion, on care, and on being polite. Manners, please, thank you. Asking people how they are, following them up after the, after the interaction, after the purchase, after the contract, to check that they're still happy. Now, these are basics, it's stuff I teach, and it's stuff that I, I do. And it's rare. It's rare. It's called investing in people. But first of all, you've got to invest in yourself. Do you care about yourself? Are you courteous, polite, well-mannered about the way that you talk about yourself? Or do you criticise yourself? Do you run yourself down? Do you beat yourself up? Have you got a kind voice in your head? Do you smile at your mistakes and strive to improve or decriticize, condemn, swear at yourself? If that's going on in your head, I call that intellectual violence. And if you've got this intellectual violence where you're criticizing yourself, what sort of state of mind and what's your vocabulary going to be like when you go out and talk to other people? You've got to have inner peace to radiate out of peace and love. You've got to love yourself before you love what you're doing and love other people can't give something away that's not inside of you if you squeeze an orange orange juice comes out when you're squeezed what comes out of you if you're angry inside anger is going to come out be peaceful be kind be courteous care about yourself and share that caring with the world and witness the world through kind eyes smiling love appreciation and gratitude and then if you're in business or just in everyday, normal, social, domestic and family life. 
Just notice how that shifts your day-to-day -day experience. I guarantee it will. If I can help you with this, or if you want to put your comments in the comments box, I'm happy if you disagree. I'm happy if you agree. Share your experiences and check back for more Mr. Mike Garner, Witnessing the World with me, Mike Garner, from MrMikeGarner.com. Have a wonderful day. Remember, imagine that everybody has got a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. And all you have to do is respond to that sign. Make people feel significant. And remember that you are significant. There's no mistakes. You're unique. Celebrate your uniqueness. And big yourself up. Don't run yourself down. Smile. Love and really respect yourself. And then share that passion. God bless. Bye for now.